I know that there's some questions about how to use the bathroom and how do you actually live in space like normal, like at home. I mentioned real quickly about getting up in the morning and brushing your teeth and washing your face. Well, how do you do that? Well, here is the bathroom, essentially. You get up in the morning and we have a little kit and it has all the essential things that you need, like your toothbrush and toothpaste and brush. See how See how much better the brush makes my hair look? <laughs> a lot of people ask about toothbrush and toothpaste. So, luckily enough, toothpaste, you can do it upside right this way, is sticky, and so it sticks to your toothbrush, no problem. Another cool thing is that water sticks to your toothbrush, too. If you can see it, I'll have some water come out. Water is pretty neat up in space. It'll stick to your toothbrush and it will make Whoop. a big bubble. And that's just by surface tension. And then you can drink it. So a lot of people ask about what do you do with the toothpaste after you brush your teeth? Two options. Swallow it, and it's sort of like mouthwash. But it tastes a little gross. Or you can just spit it out in a paper towel, and then you don't have to worry about it. One of the most pressing questions about using being living in space, of course, is the bathroom. So let's take a look at that little piece of work. Here we are at the throne. This is awesome. You might see the little, um, you might have noticed the little moon on the outside. This is our orbital outhouse right here. And of course, it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. And you'll be, be, be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. And that's, of course, for number two. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. I might add it's color coded so you really don't get it mixed up, which is nice. This is yellows for number one. And also, there's a selection of paper. People always ask about toilet paper. What do you do with toilet paper? What kind of toilet paper do you have? We have gloves just because sometimes it does get messy. We have some Russian wipes, which are a little bit coarse if you like the coarse type of toilet paper. We have some nice tissues, which are nice and soft if you like soft toilet paper. We have huggies, um, just for any cleanup. You know, we were all babies once and this sort of helps. And then as things get really out of control, we have uh, disinfectant wipes just to make sure we clean up here. Because you know, just like the water I showed you, the number one stuff can sort of go all over the place if you don't aim correctly. And did I mention both of these have a little bit of suction so they should keep things going in the right direction. But um, like I said, sometimes things get a little out of control if you are out of control yourself flying around. So we have lots of protective stuff. And of course, you do have your privacy. There's a little door. Here's a pretty cool place. This is sort of like in your house where everybody meets in the morning. Uh, after you wash your face, brush your teeth, you want to find something for breakfast. And this is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Uh, it's like opening the refrigerator. You got all your different stuff that you want to have. Drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, bread, uh, snacks. And that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. Uh, side dishes and then some little power bars just in case. So we have all this type of food. Some of it is dehydrated and so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is already made and then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. 
not only is this food made in the U.S., but we also have food here from Japan. Uh, we've got Russian food. As you can see, all these red containers are filled with food that's from Russia. Um, and then we get some of our specialty stuff, some things that we like, some of our favorite stuff that your family can send up. In fact, I like fluffernutters, and so I got sent up some fluff so I could make my fluffernutter with peanut butter. So you have a lot of food up here, no problems. Um, a friend of mine calls it the black hole because you can go there and you can just want to stay there forever looking at the beautiful planet that we live on. Um, just a couple things like Caribbean, you saw a hurricane, you see the western part of the U.S. for example here, Baja California. And then you say to yourself, okay, I'll be done as soon as the sun goes down. But then you realize how cool the planet is at night, checking out the different lights and then checking out the stars and you end up being there forever and not working. So it's a little bit dangerous. That's why we call it the, the black hole. And with that, time goes so fast. Four months were over in a heartbeat and it was time for us to come home. We, we handed over the space station to Egg, uh, Kevin Oleg and Yevgeny, and we got back into our soil, as you could see from when we came in, and now we're come, going back out. Um, it takes only uh, about four hours after undocking. This is our display as we're undocking. That's our spacecraft flying away from the space station before we hit the ground. Um, after we hit the ground, you could probably see that the, the vehicle there is a little bit charred up. Um, the folks pull us out. It was like minus 13 degrees. We were still nice and toasty in our spacesuits, though. Uh, we're able to walk, but uh, they're a little bit worried about neurovestibular effects at that point in time, and so they give you a little bit of a hand. Um, but after they pull us out, we get out of our spacesuits. We actually get into an ATV, ride over to our helicopter, get in our helicopter for about a two-hour ride to a local airport, and then get in a, uh, an airplane and go all the way home. So about 24 hours after landing, Aki and I were back in the United States, and Yuri was back in Moscow uh, to start our uh, rehab recovery uh, actions for about 45 days. And then, uh, and then we're back to normal, I think. <laughs> as far as I can tell, I think we're all back to normal. So that's... I think India has a huge resource of people who are uh, able and willing to get involved in the space program. ISRO